given. Line segment DB is perpendicular to line segment AC and point D is the midpoint of line segment AC. Find the length of AB and write a short paragraph to explain your reasoning. All right, first of all, the fact that DB, line segment DB and AC are perpendicular means that these angles are both 90 degrees so these angles are the same. Yeah, the fact that D is the midpoint of AC means that line segment AD is congruent to line segment DC and DB is equal to itself. So in reality what we have here are two congruent triangles so let's start putting down reasoning. In order to set up an equation that will allow us to find the value of x, we must first show the relationship between <coughs> line segments AB and BC. Um, Looking at the given um, information, hopefully it will be seen that we have two congruent triangles. side angle side postulate. So basically what we have here is we have this triangle is congruent to this triangle through side angle side. These two angles are the same right here. This angle and this angle are both 90 degrees. We have this side and this side that are the same. And then we have this side equal to itself through reflexive property. So we have side angle side. Therefore, we have because the two triangles are the same, then AB is congruent to CB through corresponding parts of congruent triangles. CPCT are congruent. CPCTC. Therefore, now we know that the two sides are congruent, so now we can say from that, we can say that 7x plus 2 is equal to 5x plus 10. So at this point, now we're going to solve for x. So if I subtract 5x, from both sides of the equation. Here I get 2x plus 2 equals 10. If I subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, now I have 2x is equal to 8. And then if I divide both sides of the equation by 4, or 2, excuse me, then I get x is equal to 4. So this value of x then is going to apply to both these sides. 
So here I'm going to go 7 times 2 plus 2, or excuse me, let's try that again. That should actually be 7 times 4 plus 2, which is 28 plus 2. So 30, now if the two sides are equal, it should come out to be the same. So here I have 5 times 4 plus 10, which is 20 plus 10, which is also 30. So we know, therefore, um, that AB is equal to 30. And my reasoning behind that is right here.